Draw your blade, Earhart. You don't have to do this, Ulverick. I can end it for you. All of it. Your anger, your pain, your regret. This lie your life has become. I'll cut you down and give you the peace you seek. My king dead, and my countrymen. What did that make me who had sworn my very life to protect them? For what did I wield my sword? Gods, how many years did that question plague me? But at long last, I understood. I never lost my worth. Like you, I bear my soul so that I may protect others. Earhart, I cannot stand here and pretend to understand what caused you to do as you did. And though I search my heart, I find no room there for forgiveness. I find only... should have bested you that day. Victory should have been mine. Then, and only then, could I have saved our liege, and you, from the monster you would become. Hear me, Earhart. This time, I will not lose. Draw your weapon, Earhart. For warriors such as us, there is no other way. Tell you to learn from my mistakes. But then, what right have I? Nay, we'll do it your way. No holding back, eh, old friend? I would not have it any other way. So be it. In victory, truth! I will not fail. Oh jeez, how are we how are we gonna win against this guy? Are we supposed to? Victory out of my way. You know what? You can't be a true hero if you don't know how to spam your items. We should take him turn to abide. Oh well. My faith is unbending. I wreak havoc upon thee. The battle is truly joined. The battle is true. Oh yeah, we can deal with this guy. Victory. How about you? No, we can't boost with that. Oh, now we can end this. I wreak havoc upon thee. With each battle, I grow stronger. The divine blade. Ooh. I, I yield. It is a strange thing. Though I fought with all my strength, it 
was as if you were protected by a greater power. And yet, for the first time in as long as I can remember, I regret nothing. I... Tell me one thing, Herhart. Who was he? The leader of your little band. The man who plotted Hornburg's fall. Olberic, leave it be. He brought down an entire kingdom. Our kingdom. Who knows what such a man is plotting now? Nay. Such a fiend is too dangerous for this world. I will stop him. I must. This is the cause you found. Just so. The man's name is Werner. Where can I find him? After the fall of Hornberg, he set off for Riverfoot. After that, the gods only know what became of him. That's all I need to know. Men like that leave a trail, whether they mean to or not. Reckon they do. Until someone stops them in their tracks. You're alive! And Lord Earhart. See for yourself. Took some doing, but we slew the leaders of the Horde. Once your men finish off the stragglers, You'll have nothing more to fear from that nest. Did you hear that, lads? Earhart slew their leaders! Couldn't have done it had Ulbrich not shown up in the nick of time. The two greatest knights of the Lost Realm fighting side by side? Hang me if it ain't like a storybook. You have our undying gratitude, Sir Oberic. I do not warrant it. What I did was for myself. And now the time has come for me to seek out a new cause in another place. Oberic, I... You would remain here. I'm sorry. Do not be. But before you go, let me say one more thing. If you mean to go up against Verna, watch your back. How so? I've never seen anyone swing a blade like he does. It's more than just strength and skill. There's something about him that strikes fear into men's hearts. You are stronger now, Ulbrich. Stronger than me, I dare say. If your will is strong, you are doubtless the measure of him. But make no mistake, you would be well advised to fear him. Coming from you, Erhart, that is warning indeed. I will heed your words. And now I must go. When this is over, Mayhap we shall meet again. I look forward to that day, old friend. And so did Albrecht leave while spring behind him. For too long he had forgotten a simple truth. He wields his sword to protect the people, and that means he cannot let the mortal foe of Horn roam free. And so he set off for Riverford, where his long journey may at last come to an end.
Nope, we still have more travel banter. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> you look pleased. I'm happy that you and Erdhart made up. Now you're comrades in arms again. It was a long road to reach such a point. But fighters are straightforward men, and they understand each other. Crossing swords just once can tell me more about another than a thousand words. Wow, that sounds incredible. If you're interested in my world, I could teach you a little fencing. Really? I'd love to be your apprentice. I'll be the best pupil you've ever had, Sir Ulbrick. Promise you won't regret this. I, I may already. Well, maybe shouldn't have said something. So, let me uh, let me look around Chapter Four stuff. Have we been to River Spring? Forty-five. Oh boy. Okay. Well, who do you have? Thirty-eight. Forty. 34. Okay, so probably do tresses first. But before any of that, what I want to do is I want to look at what we got. The Divine Blade. And we have the Lizard King Axe. Increase, increases lightning damage, dude. Ooh, that's a magic axe. You can't use that, Tressa. You can use that though. Doesn't you don't have lightning damage, but still, it'll increase your elemental attacks. I don't know if that like stacks with other stuff like the staff also or just Who knows? But we do have our divine blade. The Huntress Bow. Which is uh a lot better. Also, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, all right, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and go up to Victor's Hollow. And we can go ahead and start on trusses now. Now that everywhere in chapter three, we've already been to at least once. We don't really have to worry about trying to find it. We can cut a lot of uh, time off in between these things. So that will be interesting. Um, let's save again, just in case. Where, oh, where was the tavern? Did I walk past it? I think I did. Is that... That's the inn. Taverns down here. Yeah, okay, cool. Tell me a tell. After learning of the merchant's fair, you head to Victor's Hollow to find the item worthy of the auction. Eventually... You make your way to one of the shops. The story so far. In Quarry Crest, Tressa met a fellow merchant named Allie. Alle? Allie? I think it's Allie. He told her of the Merchant's Fair in Grand Court, where the greatest treasures in the realm are put to auction, and so Tressa vowed to find a worthy treasure. Hoping to prove herself a merchant worthy of respect and renown. So it was uh, the two that promised to reunite at the fair. It's about time I updated the notebook. I'm on my way to the merchant's fair in Grandport. But first I need a treasure worthy of the auction. So I've come to Victor's Hollow to find one. The owner of this book found what he was looking for here. Hopefully I'll be as lucky as he was. All right. It 
it's time I had to look around this place. Let the search begin! What are we looking for here, exactly? Oh, you'll just take... take Alright, sure. Excuse me, could you tell me about this map? Mm. I don't think... Hmm, I don't really know where it came from. I found the storehouse and... Thought about throwing it out at first. But figured I can make at least a few leaves off it this way. Oh? Mind if I take a closer look? There are traces of old lines where it was redrawn, and it smells of the sea. From the looks of it, this map was very special to the one who drew it. Oh. I think there's something written here. But the characters are strange. Hmm. I'll be damned if you can read those scribbles, young lady. Hmm. My dearest friend, here lies the most precious treasure, Baltazar. <gasps> B -b 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 Baltazar? As in the dread pirate Baltazar of the Eastern Seas? And. This is his treasure map? Yes. Sure seems that way. It must be worth a fortune. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Luck is on my side today. Now, let's keep this between us, young lady. Here, I'll even give you some candy. I don't, I don't know if that's how that works. I didn't come here for candy, I want the map. Give me the map. Hmm. Tressa, whatever could this pirate treasure be? I'm not sure, but I'd love to find out. Wouldn't it be amazing, putting your faith in that ancient map, sailing the high sea, braving tempest and storms? Oh yes, what an adventure that would be. While just imagining it has my heart all aflutter. Ophelia? So you have the spirit of adventure in you too? I certainly do. Oh, how I yearn for the romance of the open seas. When I was just a small girl, I'd often watch the boys playing at pirates. Oh, I used to play pirates too. Captain Tressa, scourge of the seas. Don't you know it. My motto was, another day, another treasure. I can see you now, wearing a bandana and brandishing a wooden cutlass. I overdid it at times. Sometimes the boys would break into tears and run home. Uh, yes, I can, I can see that too. Oh. Hello. Not gonna hand me my map? Okay. Phew. Time for a break. I already wrote in my diary today. So I'll give the notebook another read. In this world, there are countless treasures, but only one is precious to me, and I'll journey on until I find it. Hmm. He had only one treasure in the whole world? Uh, um, look, fancy meeting you here, huh? Good to see you making use of that notebook. <laughs> we meet again, lass. Mr. Leon! Mr. Leon, what brings you here? I should ask you the same. Don't tell me you ran away from home. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. I just decided it was time I saw the world. And I have the notebook you gave me to thank you for it. Oh. Haha. <laughs> thank yourself for choosing it, lass. C. 
sink me. I'd be ready to make a grave of me hammock. Hello. Oi, ain't ye? What? Nick and neck? You ninny? It's a Mac and Mac, you brain dead ninny. You're that kid that gave us quite the lashing back in drips, Dripple Slime. Uh. It's Ripple Tide. Didn't you two learn your lesson yet? Nick, Mac. That's quite enough. Captain. Uh, apologies, Captain. Captain? Aye, our pirate and days be behind us. We'd be working under a different flag now. That, right. that day opened our eyes to the true greatness, O Leon Bastral. Now we be having the honor of calling him our captain. Whoa. I'm glad to see you two singing a new tune. Well. As am I. They've been doing well under my command thus far, but still have a ways to go. Right you are, Captain. Now look alive, you half-drowned dodo. There's work to be done. So, lass, how do your travels fare? Well, I... I'm still learning as I go, but I do have a goal now. I want to sell something incredible at the Merchant's Fair. If I can manage that much, it'll prove just how far I've come on this journey. You don't say. Well, there's certainly no better place than the fair for an aspiring merchant like yourself. What exactly is it that you've deemed worthy of the auction? <laughs> I wish I could tell you, but it's still waiting for me to find it. <laughs> oh, a yet discovered treasure, I see. Then I wish you all the best in your search, lass. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Leon. By the way, what brings you to Victor's Hollow? It's the home of an old friend. He passed away around this time, around this time of year, so I decided to pay a visit. Oh. Were you too close? Hi. Hi. Baltazar and I were like brothers. Oh. Baltazar. As in that Baltazar? Which Baltazar, lass? The Baltazar who drew the map I found earlier. Could it be? They may be just the one. They may be one and the same. Could you show me where you found it? Yes. Yep. Follow me. Hey. Excuse me, sir. It's me again. Welcome. Welcome back, young lady. Trust you managed to keep the you know what a secret in the meantime? <laughs> no, no. Sorry. Really sorry, but I couldn't. Hmm? What do you mean you couldn't? What do we have here? Pardon the intrusion, but I heard you might possess a map belonging to Balthazar. Who are ye? This is Captain Leon Bastral. Oh! L -l 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 Leon B -B Bastral? Scourge of the Seas? I don't want to believe it, but there's no mistake in that blue spear. I heard all about ye and your famous words. Uh, what were they again? The strong take while the weak quake? Those are words best forgotten, sir. This is... Uh, don't do you take me for a fool. I know you're just here to loot my store. <laughs> I can assure you, I came for no such reason. I cast that lifestyle... I cast aside that lifestyle long ago. This certainly looks like one of Balthazar's works. Hmm. You really don't plan to steal it, do you? 
I see. So the rumors of the great pirates Leon and Balthazar being friends really were true? Huh? Huh? She sounds different. I beg your pardon. If you two are as close as the stories say, then I'm sure you do anything to have this map, am I right? But... However, it's a precious family heirloom. I'm afraid I cannot part with it without... Recom... Uh... Re recompense. What? But earlier he said he was just going to throw it away. Huh. If you're truly the Leon Bastrel, then I'm certain you're well versed in the treasures of the realm. You see... I am but a lowly merchant, you see. Nothing in comparison to your grandeur. But there is one thing we have in common. A desire for a certain treasure. Have you heard of... Edbart's shield? Edbar was a servant of the King of Farian. Uh, his, sh his defense with the shield was said to be unpenetrable, impenetrable. Legend says he used the same shield to protect his liege until the tragic fall of the kingdom. I heard a rumor that's been spotted in this very town as of late. Curious timing, isn't it? Both a p fabled pirate and a fabled treasure in Victor's Hollow at the same time. <laughs> If you happen to cross it somewhere, Mr. Bastrel, I'd be happy to trade it for the map. Uh. How dare you use that map as leverage? It rightfully belonged to Mr. Leon's friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're mistaken. Till we meet again. Thank you for showing me the map, and my apologies for taking so much of your time. Hey. Are you really just going to leave without your friend's keepsake? Hi. That map is not mine to take. Now I shall take my leave, lass. Uh, I'd like to celebrate his life with a drink tonight. Aww. Oh, Mr. Leon. He said he doesn't need it, but... I think a memento like that is best kept in a friend's hands. I'll find a way to get it to him. You said you traded the map for Ed Bart's shield, right? I'll be back in two ripples of the tide. How cute. Ed Bart's shield. Gotcha. I'll see what I can do. Oh, psh, this like no money at all. Took me many journeys. Yep. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, that was relatively easy. Hey, I have the shield, friend. It didn't cost me much at all. Huh. Back so soon? Of course. I made a promise, didn't I? And I always deliver. My word, I can't believe you actually found it. But this symbol and this weight. And all these scars, there's no mistaking it. This is the real deal. Most grateful. Thank you so much, young lady. Here's the map as promised. But however did you manage to get the shield? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a merchant. We have our ways. Obtaining such a renowned treasure is no small feat. I can, s can see you have promised, young lady, and lots of it. 
well. That is a... Ooh, is there a save point up here? Yes. Alright, so I'm going to save first. And then we can go, uh... Go over and talk to... Give, give the map to Mr. Leon. And, uh... We'll be back with more soon. So, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.